Hi guys, good evening and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and in tonight's video I will be discussing what I thought of the very good and very exciting latest episode of our new favorite fantasy show, Willow! It's dropped its newest episode today on Disney+. Plus. I just got done watching it, really enjoyed it. Before I get into all of that, of course, please be warned, like most of my episode reviews, this is a spoiler-filled review, so if you're not cut up on Willow by the latest episode, which is episode 3, you do, excuse me, you do not want to keep watching or listening, as I will be going into spoilers, plot details, character stuff, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. Let's dive right back into it. So, first and foremost, we had our first uh, major fatalities uh, on this show. We lost Lil Willow's friend Silas, which was a shame, and... Um, the uh, royal uh, commander guy who was a loyal knight of Tira's lean and uh, Jade's uh, friend and mentor, but then became corrupted due to the evil uh, Gale that infected him with his staff. And uh, thankfully, it seems like Willow's little uh, magical outburst, which sent uh, him and his two men flying backwards uh, and ultimately killing them, it seemed to free him up just enough for his old self to return, tell Jade he cared about her, he was sorry, and that uh, he was proud of her. And of course, she was breaking down because this guy was basically her surrogate father. You know, she, he was her commander and, you know, basically sounded like a father figure to her. So, of course, she was devastated to put him down, but and then devastated that he was dead as well. So it's nice that that character got a proper send-off. Like, they may have corrupted him and made him the temporary intent for a couple of episodes but at least he died uh back uh back to his normal like being his normal self once again before dying for real so that was unfortunate but uh you know i'm kind of glad they wrapped up the evil knight storyline and i'm glad that they caught up to uh elora dannon and uh the evil knights as fast as they did because i was a little worried they were going to stretch this out over the course of the next couple episodes which is them tracking these guys trying to find elora dannon and get back to her but thankfully it doesn't seem to be the case. They are they have now caught up to her, reunited with her. I was a little confused as to what the deal was with the princess and Borman going to the slaughtered lamb and finding it decimated and destroyed. And were they going to look for something in particular? Because Borman clearly found something that he hid and didn't tell her or anything anybody else about. The were rats. Uh, were pretty cool. The two-headed, freaky-looking, red-eyed were-rats were very cool, very nasty, and there's a whole bunch of them. I was kind of hoping they'd come out and be unintentional saviors of the day when their battle with the knights, but it uh, turns out uh, they were able to handle it on their own, and then Willow's little magical outburst helped as well, too. And then they, them ending up on the outskirts of Knockmore was very cool. That was Bavmorda's castle, her kingdom. And it looks like the, cast, the castle still remains intact for the most part. Maybe they can find uh, some shelter inside, but who knows what else they may find. Feels like the crone and her minions are there in there somewhere and if they're not you know then they're they're close it was nice to see Alora gaining some confidence and learning some things about herself like when she touched that corrupted knight and it seemed to burn his face a little bit like she does indeed have some magical capabilities but she's probably got to tap into that and really practice the hell out of it with willow's guidance of course so it's nice seeing that she's starting to learn to accept herself more and more that she really truly is Alora Dannon. And speaking of Alora, I wasn't sure at first if her encounter with the two ladies in the woods was an hallucination or if it was real, but I'm, I guess it was real despite the drastic change in weather. And um, it was so sad, too, how they were both willing to lay down their lives and fight for Alora once they realized she was indeed Alora Dannon. And then they both immediately get killed for it by the corrupted knights. I'm like, damn, that's... Is that supposed to be funny or sad or a bitter funny, like an ironic funny? I don't know, but it just seemed kind of dark to me. But speaking of this of dark, it was kind of hard to see parts of this episode. It was just physically very 
dimly lit and uh, just very, very dark because it took place at night in the rain. It was a little hard to see what was happening sometimes, but thankfully, you know, the action and the pace of the episode, you know, kept uh, our interest going and uh, we were able to tell for the most part what was happening indeed. So I liked this episode a lot. I liked the two, ep the first two episodes more. Uh, I thought they were good, two solid introductory episodes, but this third episode uh, basically got things back on track with Alora being reunited with the group, them dealing with the renegade corrupt knights that they, the possessed knights that they ultimately defeated, and now they can focus on other characters and storylines that they may come across. So, good episode overall. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Willow drops new episodes every Wednesday on Disney+. Plus. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.